Let us now study about the isomerism in tartaric acid. We will now compare racemic form versus the meso form. Racemic form is a mixture that can be separated into two optically active forms. Whereas meso is a single compound and hence cannot be separated. Racemic form is optically inactive due to external compensation. Whereas meso form internal compensation occurs so they are in optically inactive. Meso forms contain molecules which are achiral whereas racemic form contains molecules of isomers which are chiral. When equal amounts of dextrotartaric acid and levotartaric acids are mixed we get racemic tartaric acid which is an optically inactive mixture. This can be separated into two optically active forms as shown here. Whereas this is racemic tartaric acid and it is very tough for the bond to break. Dextro and levo isomers have the same magnitude but they differ in the sign of optical rotation. Hence they are also known as enantiomers. The meso tartaric acid is very much different in the case of the magnitude of optical rotation from the dextro and the levo retratory isomers. And moreover meso form is also said to be a diastereomer of the active form. Now let us compare enantiomers versus diastereomers. Enantiomers Optically is optical isomers having the same magnitude but different sign of optical rotation. Whereas diastereomers differ in the magnitude of optical rotation. Enantiomers have configuration with non superimposable object mirror image relationship. Whereas diastereomers are never mirror images. Enantiomers are identical in all properties except the sign of optical rotation. Whereas diastereomers differ in all physical properties when compared to the enantiomer. In enantiomers, the separation of enantiomers is a very tough and tedious process. Whereas for diastereomers, separation from the other pairs of enantiomers is not so tedious. <coughs> 